All right, folks, it's Labor Day 2022. And the month of September means recap. So let's recap what happened so far this year, shall we? It started off normal year. Everything was going smoothly, and I thought this was going to be a great year to finally put an end to all the COVID crap. But no. Once again, in the middle of January, something happened. And like last, last year, it was a COVID emergency I had in my family. But this time, it was even worse because my mom had unexpectedly died from hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. And that forced me to move out of the house, out of the area, and make some serious lifestyle changes to make sure that doesn't happen to me. And then beginning in February, we started having drama online. I'm not going to go too into too much detail. It involves several users, including myself, unfortunately. But like I said, I'm not going to go too detailed because otherwise I'm going to be blabbering it all out. And this video would be just be way too long. Then we also had the Russian-Ukraine war. Started by Vladimir Putin. By the way, fuck you, Vladimir Putin, for what you did to Ukraine. That's why he's getting 2022's Enemy of the Year. And no matter all the other users that I've hated, they're not going to get on that spot. It's going to stay as Vladimir Putin as 2022's Enemy of the Year. We also had monkeypox outbreak by Late spring, talking May, well, in the United States, but for the whole world, it's much earlier than that. And of course, we still had COVID issues up and down. It just doesn't seem to go away for good, or at least controlled. And of course, we also had inflation. Ugh. If you thought the inflation as a fetish was terrible, you haven't seen the economic side of inflation. No wonder why people hate that as a fetish in both economic terms. Especially gas prices making us not want to travel as much as we want to. Limiting on our vacations. Speaking of vacations, I only stayed in Lake Placid just for a few days instead of a week that I had originally planned for. Of course, I had to give up the crabbing tradition once again, this time for that reason. So much has happened th during those first eight months of this year. What will the final four months bring? Well, better be good, because I want to be able to celebrate my first Christmas since 2017, because 2018 I had to celebrate fuckness, and then 2019, had to celebrate Agmas. Same thing with 2020 and 2021. Hopefully this will be the year I finally get to celebrate Christmas and not another year of Agmas. You want to get back to the Christmas spirit, just like the old days. But not with all the stuff's going on, not to mention federal student loan forgiveness. I mean, I paid off my student loans about six months ago. Shouldn't have to pay for other people's student loans, especially those slackers who just use the money foolishly. How is that fair? They made the choices themselves. They should be paying it. You took out your loans, you repay them. It's a matter of common sense. Democrats just want to give that forgiveness away just so they can get the votes. I mean, that's ridiculous. I consider that bribery. No wonder you can't trust a politician these days. And don't think that the Republicans are any better. They have their own flaws, which I mentioned in that one of my previous videos, the Drake and Josh spoof number 12, where Drake and Josh lash out at political parties and offering recent examples of their flaws before giving a closing message of how they've been corrupting the country, the United States. 
They just, they don't really care about people. They just care about arguing with each other just to show off their power. Come on now. If we didn't have that, all those arguments, we would have been, got our problems solved by now. But no, they just had to argue about agreeing to something for a change. I mean, look at all the sweat from a worker, of course, for Labor Day. And I'm gonna end the video right here. Hope you all have a wonderful Labor Day.